Shalom, shalom. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Ha Rechakwadash. Okay, double honors to the apostles and the elders. A great millstone, you know, the teachers of Israel, the men who uh, labored in this troop more than 30 years, you know, to pass this troop down to the elect, which, you know, the elect going to have this troop in the last days. All right, salutations to the Akims that's uh, pushing this troop around the four corners of the earth. And, uh, Shalom on you few sisters, you know, the elect lady. All right, we must reverence the name of our Lord, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekakwadash. We must reverence the names. We must acknowledge the names. Okay? This right here, what you're looking at is the Paleo Hebrew, it's known as the. Uh, you know, the Phoenician alphabets that go, you know, you see here, Phoenician alphabets, 14 B.C. Um, and uh, back when, you know, all language, all nations spoke this language. Scriptures say the earth was at one language, okay? The earth was at one language. So all nations spoke this language. Grab that real quick. Here it is right here. Uh, Genesis 11 and verse 1. And the whole earth was at one language and one speech. Okay? Just to prove that, you know, during this time, from the beginning of time, you know, during the time of the Babylon, you know, the ancient Paleo-Hebrew, you know, was spoken. These are known as the Phoenician, Phoenician alphabets. But the Lord name is to be praised and worshipped in the Paleo Hebrew. Yahawa. Okay, and that translates to He exists. Okay. In the Paleo Hebrew. Alright. He exists. You know, our God is the God of living, not the dead. And his only begotten son. Yahweh Shai. Okay. And that name translates to He saves. He delivers. Yahweh Shai. Okay. The, the Lord's name is in the name of Yahweh Shai. Okay. So those names are to be reverenced. Those names are to be worshipped, which the elect will be worshipping these names in the last days. Okay. All these other names are false powers, they're false idols, not a real power. Okay? Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is that force, that power that delivered us out of Egypt, you know, with a great deliverance, okay, that kept us the whole way. You know, he set up Moses and Aaron for a leader to lead us out of Egypt. Okay, and this is the same power, Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai, okay, that's going to, you know, lead us out of Babylon, okay, America, Babylon, America, okay? So the Lord's name is going, is, is being magnified and will be magnified even more, okay? All right, so, you know, I want to bring out this scripture real quick. This is Exodus 15 and 3. And the Most High said more over unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel. Who are the children of Israel? The American Negro, which is the tribe of Judah. You got Benjamin, which is the uh, Jamaicans. And you got Levi, which is the Haitians, which comprise of the southern kingdom. And you have the northern tribes, starting with Ephraim. You know, Ephraim, Manasseh, uh, uh, Ephraim, Ephraim, Manasseh, uh, 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 Natalie, you know, you got uh, uh, all the other northern kingdom tribes. Those are the northern kingdom that was living in Samaria. And it's the same 
power that delivered us out of the hand of Moses. So Moses was given the name by Yahweh. Okay, what did you want me? He said, what do you want me to tell them when you go back then what your name is? And this is what was said, Exodus 15 and 3. Exodus 3 and 15, so like it. And the Most High said, Moreover unto Moses, thou shalt, thou shalt, thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord power of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, have sent me unto you. Okay? This is my name, this this is my name forever. This is my memorial unto all the generations. Okay? So the Lord's name is Yahweh. It was given unto Moses and Aaron. It was given unto Moses and Aaron. Let me get uh the part where he's saying. Exodus verse 3 and 14. And the Most High said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thou, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am, have sent me. Okay? So hey, that would translate to Yahweh. Okay? We wouldn't say Ahaya. You know, you you know, Moses didn't come to the children of Israel and say, Ahaya. Uh, he said, Yahweh, he is. You know, not I am. He said, He is. We would say, how we would say it would be, He is. Yahweh. Yah means He. Hawa means exist. He is to be. He exists. Okay? So that's how you pronounce the name of the Lord, man. And you have to reverence those names. You have to pray in those names and trust in the names, man. And the men of the Lord, we trust that the Lord's name. We 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 know. You know, we we fully persuaded. We you know. There's no doubt in our minds what the name of the Lord is. Okay, this is the book of Psalms 20 and 7, Psalm Trust and Chariots, and Psalm. And horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our power. Okay. And when the times come when we, you know, when, when trouble come, or you know, when we trouble, or when, you know, the height of Jacob's trouble pop off, man, we're gonna be calling on those names. Man. Okay? We're gonna call on those particular names, man. You know, there's no other way, like you say in Acts 4 and 12 here. Acts 4 and 12, neither is there salvation in any other, any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So th that's the only power that can deliver us out of, you know, Jacob's trouble, that can deliver us out of, you know, uh, you know, uh, 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 the World War Three man, when the Lord destroyed his place, man. Okay? And, and the Lord have given his name to the elect here. What did it say? So Rock 17 and 10. And the elect shall praise his holy name. So the name of Yahweh by Shem Shah is in the mouth of the elect. Okay? All right? So nine times out of ten, you see a lot of these guys, you know, that, you know, that, that, that know they're Israel, but they don't confess the name of the Most High. Hey, what you think going to happen? You know, they're not going to be, uh, 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 they're not going to be, uh, 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 basically, you know, delivered. 
you know, because they don't reverence the most high name, which, you know, the brothers are great millstone, you know, all the men are great millstone and the affiliates, you know, we reverence those names. We acknowledge those. They really push the name. Okay. Proverbs 18 and 10, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous running into it and it's safe because you're going to need, you know, help in these last days, man. We're going to need to be covered in these last days. So we gonna trust in Yahweh by Shem and Shah, man, to deliver us out of tribulation, man, to be able to uh, provide for us when the whole earth is suffering, when everybody is suffering. Okay, when the people ain't, you know, when most people don't have food to eat, you know, they starving and dying from famine, you know, getting ate up by wild beasts, you know, the birds eating on their flesh, you know what I'm saying? All hell just breaking loose in Babylon. We gonna trust in the name of the Lord. We understand that the name of the Lord is, is a strong tower. And, you know, the righteous run into it and safe, man, because Esau coming, bro. You know, Esau coming. He wants to basically, you know, perform and further his enterprise, man. And he plans to, you know, have everybody see him until he, you know, did do away with you, try to kill you. Okay? Psalms 124 and 6, blessed be the Lord who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. And the teeth represent the strength of the military because that's what they're going to do. They're going to come in with that military, you know, and start trying to sack, you know, Israel, man, and everybody. Okay, but the main focus is Israel, man. The, the, hey, persecution is going to happen, man. So we're going to need to be covered, man. They're going to come in like the scriptures say. They're going to come in like a flood. Okay, let's get that real quick. Uh, Isaiah what it say in Isaiah okay I gotta get that you know sometimes scriptures just pop up and you know we gotta get it Isaiah, fifty nine, nineteen. They say, "So shall they fear the name of the, so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, and His glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood." The flood represent the military. You see that? The flood represent the military, and that's what Esau's going to do. You know, if you notice. They, you know, men have been jumping the borders, man. That's the military already coming over here. Okay, the UN soldiers already coming over here. Okay, all hell is gonna break loose. Okay, but we gonna trust in Yahweh by Shemuel the Shot. And they say, in the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard. When you go in the standard, is Nawas, and it means to flee, escape, to take flight, depart, disappear. Okay, miraculous things are gonna happen. Miracles are gonna happen. And that all happens, that's all going to happen through the name, right, and the power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so we're going to trust in the Lord. You know, we're not going to call on any other name in that day, man. You know? Okay. We're not going to call on any other name in that day. We're going to call on the name of the Lord because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Psalms 124 and 6, blessed be the Lord. You know, who have not given us as a prey to his teeth. And the teeth represent military, you know, force. You know, the bite force represent military. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. And who's the fowler? Esau is the fowler. So we're going to need protection. And you got you to gotta know the names, you know. You got to, you know, that, that, that the Lord will hear from heaven as the scripture will say. Okay, when Jacob is, Jacob is troubled. Okay, it say the snare is broken and we are escaped. You see that? So that it let won't get trapped in in um the uh all of the uh the snares that Esau gonna set. You know, M O T B, the concentration FEMA camps. Okay, this man got the whole stage set to try to you know snare the majority of you Israelites, man. And two thirds are gonna be taken. You know, two-thirds are going to be taken, man, because they don't reverence the name of the Lord. 
You know, they call you calling on JC in that day, man. You know, the Lord not going to hear that from heaven. You say, we are escaped. Our help. You see this? Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. You know, our help is in the name of the Lord, man, who made heaven and earth. Okay? So the powers, you know, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is the true names. Our help is in those names. You know, when this man roll in with the militaries and start, all, you know, basically, you know, further, you know, trying to get rid of the, you know, come down on the men of the Lord, man, guess who, what? We're going to call on the names. And the name is a mystery to a lot of you out there. You know, the names is a mystery, you know. So the reason why you don't know the name is because the Lord don't want you calling on his name. You may not be of his stock. Proverbs 30 and 4, who have ascended up into heaven or descended, who have gathered the winds in his fish, who have bound the waters in a garment, who have bound the waters in a garment, who have established all the ends of the earth. What is his name? And what is his son's name? So why would it say that? You know, yeah, you will see you know, what it say. What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou can tell, he didn't give his name to everybody. Really, his name is going to be in the, in the mouth of the elect. Every word of the most high is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. We will trust and reverence the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. Isaiah 12 and 4, in that day ye shall pray, and in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord. Call upon his name. Declare his doings among the people. Make mention that his name is exalted. You see that? The Lord, he, you know, the Lord, the Lord, name is to be praised, man. Exalted. To lift it up. To be lifted up, man. You have to call on the right names. And everybody ain't got those names. That's why he, That's why the scriptures say in Proverbs 30 and 4, if thou can tell. You know, the, the Lord name. Is a mystery unto the, the wicked, man. Okay? So, hey, that name was, hey, was, was removed at a certain period of time. Okay? We went into captivity and the Lord hid his face from us, man. But guess what? In these last days, it, you know, uh, in these last days, the Lord have, you know, given us a heart to turn back. Given us the paleo Hebrew. What did it say in the, uh, in, in, uh, in Egypt, you know, the uh, the Lord, you know, servants and prophets are going to be speaking the uh, language in five cities. Well, let me get that. They're speaking the land of uh, the language of uh, Canaan, if I can find that. Let's grab that real quick. In the land of Canaan. I mean, the land of Egypt, yeah. Here it is. Isaiah 19. Isaiah 19. And 8. Uh, <clears throat> 19 and 18. In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt, you know, five cities, and those five cities represent all the cities where the elect will be in uh in 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 Egypt, which is you know America, is likened unto Egypt. They say, In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan. What's the land of Canaan? Okay, that Paleo Hebrew. That was known at one time as the Phoenician Hebrew. Okay? And that five cities represent the major cities in America. You know, where the men of the Lord would be pushing the word. You know? And swear to the Lord of hosts, one shall be called the city of destruction. Okay? In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt. Okay? And that altar represents... The men you see standing out on the highways, you know, and say, and a pillar at the border thereof of the, of the Lord. Okay, so that hey, that that uh, altar is the men of the Lord you see standing out there, wearing the garments, 
and they, you know, being stiffly, standing stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. There was a certain time where we didn't have the name, we didn't have his knowledge, we were destitute of the truth, you know, during the time of slavery. But the Lord in the 60s brought this, uh, in the 60s and the 70s, the Lord brought this truth to the elders, you know, and, and this uh, the language was given back to us. That was the Lord, you know, having mercy on us, okay, and giving us this language back, okay. This is Zephaniah 3 and 9. But then I will turn to the people a pure language. You see, that pure language is that, that Hebrew, okay. The Lord said, uh, he discontinued us from our heritage, man. In Jeremiah 7, I believe it's uh, 17 and 4. You know, the Lord said he 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 basically hid his face from us, man, took our heritage from us. But then guess what? In these last days, he brought it back to us so we'll be able to call on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, for then will I turn to the people the pure language. That's that Paleo-Hebrew, okay, that they may call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. And you see brothers doing that, man. Every year we gather to keep the Passover, this Feast of Tabernacles, all the uh, all the feast days and, and holy days that is recorded in the book of, uh, you know, Exodus 23, you know. We, we, hey, we, and we doing it, un, in, you know, under the banner of Yahweh, Yahweh, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son. So you got to reverence those names. We have to serve the Lord in spirit and truth, and his name is true. His name is truth, man. You know? So, yeah. Lord willing that this video, you know, was edifying. You know, again, you know, double honor to the apostles and the elders on down the great millstone, you know, and uh, love and salutations to your arguments and the elect lady, the first fruits of the kingdom. Lord, Lord willing, this video was edifying to a brother. All right, Charlotte Wong.